Excellent. It is a name that is high and above. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Your name is great. Your name is great. Your name is great. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, give a hand to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Please go on and welcome somebody. Greet somebody. Happy New Year. Hug somebody. Give somebody a high five. It's a new year. Hallelujah. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 3. Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love me. Verse 4. Draw me. Everybody say, draw me. Oh, you are telling the Lord, draw me. Because if the Lord doesn't draw you, you cannot come. Amen. We will run after thee. The king had brought me into his chambers. Wow. We are in the chambers of the king. Hallelujah. So our response should be that, Lord, I want to run after you. Hallelujah. That's why we are singing this song. And if you don't know it, verse, the other part says, we will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember your love more than wine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I will rejoice in you and be glad. I will enjoy your love more than wine. So draw me after you and let us run together. I will rejoice in you and I will rejoice. I will rejoice in you and be glad. I will enjoy.
Sunday and one of the covenant names of God is Jehovah Jireh why because it's the God that supplies your need in 2012 he will supply every need of yours if you believe it give him a shout somebody put your hands together like this and add a dance to it Bye now. 
give three people a high five tell them jehovah jireh he will provide your needs in the year 2012 he shall supply your needs he shall supply your needs don't worry about this year the lord will supply all your needs hallelujah put your hands together and give the lord a shout of amen and if you celebrated your birthday in the past week from last monday to today we want you to come to the front we want to pray with you today you're celebrating your birthday from monday come let's give you a special new year birthday prayer oh clap for them as they come happy birthday to you to jesus be true God's mercies and blessings rain down upon you. Happy birthday to you. To Jesus be true. God's mercies and blessings rain down upon you. Hallelujah. Please stretch forth your hands. Let's pray for them. As pastors lay hands on them, want to ask for God's blessings in the coming year. Want to pray for special favor of God in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your voice and pray right now. Pray for them. Lift up your voice. Speak a word of blessing over them. That this year will be good. This year will be good in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, Father, we bless you. We pray for each and every one of them, oh God. We ask for your covering and your protection. Lord, we pray that your mercies and your grace will abound towards them. The Lord, as you are increasing them in years, increase them in your grace and in your mercy. In the name of Jesus, as they grow in years, may they also grow in their knowledge of you and in their relationship with you, Lord, and in their love for you. In the name of Jesus, cover them with your blood. Deliver them from evil. In the name of Jesus, let not the plans of the devil for their lives come to pass in the name of jesus establish them in your will oh god in the name of jesus we declare that the years ahead will be better than the years that have gone by in the name of jesus may the mistakes of the past not be repeated in the years ahead in jesus name may they find favor in your sight oh god in jesus name father bless them with the blessings of heaven above the blessings of the deep that lieth under the blessing of the lord that maketh rich and added no sorrow may that be your portion in the name of jesus we bless you father in jesus name amen wow 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 god bless you all so much amen, amen. well after the service we have a special new year birthday party for you is it a powerful thing so after the service we want you to go to the celebration lounge it's on my right hand side after the service some brethren will be there to meet you cut a cake take some pictures have some drinks and you're having a party what do you think it's powerful please put your hands together for them so you can go back to your seat but after service just join us in the celebration lounge and if you're here for the first time you're worshiping with us on this new year's day uh worshiping with us for the first time can you give me a wave of your right hand today's your first time oh look at that look at that god bless you god bless you god bless you keep waving keep waving god bless you now, can you also do one more thing for me? Can you come to the front? We want to welcome you specially. Clap for them as they come. Come to the front. We want to welcome you specially. We love you with, we love the, you with the love of the Lord. Of the Lord. We love you with the love we of the love Lord. You with the love You're welcome. Of You're welcome. to have you fellowship with us today I want to just meet with you for just two minutes then you come back and join us in the service so our pastor here is just going to talk to you for just two minutes then you come back and join us okay so please go this way clap for them as they go God bless you all so much wow 
Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, somebody give the Lord a shout up for it. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be a year of hallelujahs. Amen. All right. Well, today is Covenant Sunday, and um, Bishop Saki will be up here to lead us to make our covenant for the year with the Lord. Amen. We also want to remind you that um, we have no midweek service this week. Uh, we are not coming here on Tuesday and also on Thursday, so please take note and um, be here next Sunday. The 2012 Almanacs are also still on sale at the Vision Bookshop. Please go there and get one. Cost five Ghana cities, 50 pesos. And also, we want to remind you as we go through the uh, holidays, uh, please remember the children of the Lighthouse Christian Children's Home and also uh, bring a, a special donation and offering for the children. This is the time to also show our love to the children at the orphanage. So if you came with an offering, you can put it in an envelope, write on it, orphanage, drop it in the offering basket, and it will get to them. If you left your iPad in church yesterday, yeah, you see all the excitement, um, maybe you left your iPad, please contact Pastor Pazzi. Pastor Pazzi, is he here? After the service, okay, if you can't locate him, just look for me. Um, and um, you need to come and really identify <laughs> the iPad. When you come and say it's the iPad, we'll not give it to you. You have to just tell us a whole lot of things to convince us. So um, see me or Pastor Pazzi. I can see him anywhere around after the service. And then also, if you found a camera in church last Sunday, Christmas Day, uh, please also report to the front office after the service uh, this time somebody has also misplaced the camera so if you have found it uh, you also tell us just as we found yours and we are telling you uh, please let us know if you have the camera in your possession wedding bands all right right then the beloved corner daniel dawson of Proverbs chapel right here at the kodesh get it married to mary sarkodie of Mark Chapel, Ashali Butri, LCI. Okay. They are getting married on the 21st of January, 2012. The venue is the Yongicho Chapel. Time is 12 noon. Now, if you have any just cause why Daniel cannot be married to uh, Mary on that date, please let us know now or thereafter. Hold your peace. God bless you. Be seated. Hmm. I don't know where the gentlemen are. They've left the ladies there like that alone. Mercy. All right. Enoch Minta of Global Revival Ministries is getting married to Hagar Akim of Leviticus Chapel. All right. Hmm. It's excitement in the air. Also, on the 21st of January 2012, venue is the Robert Chapel. Time is 12 noon. Well, if you have any just cause why Enoch cannot be married to Hagar on that date, please let us know now or thereafter. Hold your peace. God bless you. Be seated. And let's put our hands together and welcome Bishop E.A.T. Saki to take us through the... All right. Oh, show your love. Show your love. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, please be seated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It's a year of hallelujahs. I said it's a year of hallelujahs. Wonderful. Well, we are blessed to be here this first Sunday, which happens to be the first day of the year, that is why bishops say that this year is a golden year. You are going to be crowned with gold. Uh -huh. Amen. 
You are going to wear real gold. Not the one that is sold at Cantamanto. Real one. And in all your life, you are going to end up in the gold section. You know, when athletes run, the gold medalist is given to the first. At the end of 2012, you'll be wearing gold medals. In your spiritual life. In your mar marital life. In your financial life. You will be wearing gold. You will excel. You will overcome. You will prevail. You will conquer. Believe it. Lift your hand and shout yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, you must say hallelujah. So, and you must do it because this year there's going to be hallelujah. So many hallelujahs in your life. Hallelujah. 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 Out of all, I tell you, it's powerful. Amen. Anyway, if you look at the um, pocket of the chair in front of you, you're going to find a little slip of paper. Short one, half of A4. All right. Have you found it, everybody? Is there anybody who has... If you found it, can you wave the paper for me to see? I hope that if you put your hand in the pocket, you will not pick somebody's chewing gum that he has left there. What a shock. All right, thank you very much. Well, before that, I just want to... Um, how many of you got special personal text messages from, from me? From the bishop through me? How many of you got it? Are you excited about that? Now, in case you didn't receive any text message, what it means is that we do not have your um, telephone number or the correct one. Otherwise... Everybody in the church should have received it. So, if you didn't, how many of you didn't receive any test message at all? Bearing my, okay, also a lot of you. That means after church, I'd like you to go to the registration and tithe office and either write your phone number or correct it. Because that is the only reason why we don't have your details. This year, we are going to pastor you supernaturally. Both spiritually and in every area where we're going to pastor you. Can I have an Amen. So make sure we have your proper details, proper records. We are praying for you with your name and your phone number. Angels are going to be dialing your numbers, I tell you. Amen. And I believe you'll be blessed. Hey, who, who are these people standing there? You are the excitement people. Uh, okay, excitement in the wind, not in the air, Reverend Johnny. All right. Um, last, the course of the week there, some of the young people in the church, they did a beautiful um, CD music. CD, it has 12 nice songs. Nobody, you know, something like that by J. Mills. <laughs> what a shock, that's Joshua. All right, and several other beautiful music. They call, the group is called Crossfire, and they said, people don't know how much fire we have for the cross. Wow, what a shock. Anyway, there are CDs available. Um, Jude Saki, uh, John Dag Adi, um, Joshua, and then the Joshua and then um, Allen. Beautiful music that they produce themselves. And one of you, but contemporary music. You know, some of you are too old fashioned. But we've got to hear some contemporary music around you. So the CDs are available in front of the bookshop and everywhere. Five Ghana CDs only. Buy it and, and, and encourage them. And I believe that you'll be blessed. All right. Now look at the forms that you have. It says um, Lighthouse Shop International, the Kodesh Covenant Form 2012. A year of church growth. Is that right? Am I right? I, Kamina Kakari, make covenant with the Lord on this first day of January in the year of the year 2012 that I will. Now, what covenant are you making with the Lord? Now, listen, don't write that I'll make covenant, I'll lose weight. That one is not a covenant with the Lord. It's between you and the gym instructor. All right. So, I want you to make spiritual covenant. Are you in the church of gone home? Right. Now, the scripture down there, Genesis chapter 31, verse 44. Now, therefore, come uh, thou, let us make a covenant. Amen. I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. Now, this was a covenant, this, a, a word spoken by Laban to Jacob as they parting. Let's make a covenant that you will not cross over to hurt you, and you're not going to hate me, and I'm not going to hate you. And he said that, may the Lord watch between us as we are absent from one another. 
I tell you, this year, every time we share the grace, we are going home. God will watch between us. Angels of God will be watching over our lives and preserve our days. Now, we are making this covenant. We do it every first Sunday as, to, as, a, as a sort of reminder. Now, we are going to write three important promises. If you like, a simple way of covenant, same covenant is uh, promise or contract or promise because promise because God will always, always keep his side of the bargain. In time there's a failure, it is from your end, but you will not fail this time. Are you in the church of gone home? So I want you to write three things that you promised the Lord for, for grace to do in the year 2012. I want you to take a pen and paper and write it down. Now listen, I'm not going to collect it and mark it, so don't think that if I write, Bishop will see all my problems. I also have my own problems and my own covenant I'm making. So you write it down. Three important things. Maybe you're going to covenant this year that you're going to have your quiet time every day. You want to covenant. Don't say that I covenant to do, to, to, to do well. That is not a covenant. Just like saying that um, at the end of the year, what you come and tell that there's room for improvement. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But you want you to write something tangible. I read my Bible. I have my quarter every day or I'll pay my tithes every month this year. Or you want to also make a covenant that you talk to a soul every week. Or you want to make a covenant, I'll pray one hour every day. Please write it and don't copy anybody's, uh, Joshua Mills, are you writing? Don't copy somebody's work. Oh. Don't copy genius work. Everybody must write. Each one for himself. God for it. Because somebody probably you're copying may not be your problem. Someone said, Lord, I don't want to fornicate this year. You don't, you don't fornicate. You're not You're copying somebody's answer. All right. So you write it out. Three. And you're going to keep it yourself in a safe place. Don't let your husband or your wife even see it. Either in your Bible or somewhere safe. That you will be visiting it regularly to see whether a check on... The Bible says if you judge yourself, you will not be judged. So you're going to write it out and you're going to keep it for yourself. I, I, am I talking to you? Right. So that you would be checking and you have to see how well you are doing. So begin to write now. Three. Three. Right, you're looking at your wife's paper. Eh? It's not sure himself, but you're making sure that she's writing. You want her to add that I will love my husband and then be available every day. It's also a covenant. Well, that's between your husband. I'm talking about you and the Lord, okay? So write it out. Spiritual covenant. Write it out clearly and uh, beautifully, and then we'll carry on from there. Are you, do are you doing it? Hello, are you doing it? Elsie, are you not doing it? Do you have a pen? Okay. All right. You have an iPad. <laughs> what a shock. What a shock. All right. Kindly write it. Kindly write it. Can type it on the iPad. Okay. I'm waiting for you. One more minute to stop work. Emilia, have you done? You have. Can I look at it? He said, no. I'm your bishop. He said, no. I'm surprised. Anyway, I don't want to look at it even. Maybe I'll be blind. Hey, those of you outside, excitement. Have you, have you done it already? You haven't done it. After church, all of you must do it. And I will not look at what, but I'll inspect your paper, not look at what is written. I'm serious. It's not a joke. It's a covenant that we make every beginning of every year. And God, we trust in God. Not that we are, we are, we, we are perfect. Paul said, I'm not yet perfect. But I'm striving. I'm making efforts. So it is a sign that you are making efforts. So write it out quickly and then we'll pray. All right. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We honor you. We give you praise and glory. Write it out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you still, still no more, I promise not to steal anybody's mobile phone again. That's your store, somebody's mobile three times, okay? I mean, anything that you think is something that you want God to help you, write it out. And I believe that God is going to help us. Lift your paper and let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this privilege we have to make covenants with you. Thank you, the Lord. Throughout your scriptures, we see how the patriarchs and, the, and those who have gone ahead of us make covenants and, and promises, and you give them grace to honor their promises. We are asking you for grace. We are asking you for strength. We are asking you for ability. For it is you mark that makes us to will and to do of your own good pleasure. We pray for the will and the strength to do it and be glorified in our lives. We thank you for today and thank you for every hand that is lifted. I pray that at the end of 2012, we'll be standing here not as failures 
and disappointed people. But we're standing here as people who trusted in you and you gave us the grace to fulfill our covenant, a part of our covenant. We thank you, Father. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. All right. Fantastic. So keep it very well. Safe place. Auntie Katie, please don't read Uncle, Uncle Philip's own. All right. Keep it safely. And I believe that we will be blessed. Say amen. Well, it's joy and an honor that we are here today. And I believe that this first Sunday and all the way through to December, there's going to be excitement in the air. Now, if you believe the excitement, stand to your feet and let's receive the There's power. excitement in the air. Can't Everybody, you come on, stand to your feet. Your soul. God your is moving together. by his grace. Yes, he's moving in this place. Won't you let him take control? Take out your offering. Everybody take out a good, powerful, anointed offering. Hallelujah. 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 What of all? Take out your offering. Eh? Mega offering, your first offering for a Sunday service. Everybody, take out. This year, some of your covenant, what you must write is that I will not give any offering below a certain amount. You've got to write it and believe God. Amen. You also have to believe God to break your own offering record. You have never given about 50 Ghana cities. This year, you'll be giving about 50 Ghana cities. Do you believe it? So if you when you take 50 you bring 50 Ghana cities to church, it's too much. When you take it to the market, it's not too much. When you take 50 Ghana to the petrol station, it's not too much, but it's too much in, for God. What a shock. Lift your hands up and let's pray. BM, I'm waiting for you. I know your bag is deep, but lift your hand up. And don't spoil the money. So the way you hold the money is BM. You see, you took the money, you squeeze it. It's not right. Open it nicely. Fold it into two. Eh, you're giving the money, give it's not bad. Eh, to hold it and lift your hands up. Lift your hands up to the Lord. Right? Up above your head so that you don't forget and put it back in your bag. Alright, okay. Show your offering to your neighbor before you pray. Tell him, look at how much I love the Lord. Look at how much I love the Lord. Hey, look at your nice spot. You can't show it to your, to your neighbor, isn't it? When you look at your spot and your offering, they, they are not commensurate. They don't, they don't get along. Now with your nice three piece act, but they're giving two Ghana cities. What a sock. All right, lift your offering up and let's pray again. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day. We honor you and give you praise and glory for who you are and for what you mean to us. We love you from the bottom of our heart. And we thank you for this opportunity we have. We ask you to bless our seed, bless our giving, and we expect good things this 2012 we expect your message we expect your kindness we expect your generosity we expect every good thing that comes from you because your way says that every good and perfect thing it comes from above from the father of light in whom there's no variableness no shadow of turning may we trust in you walk with you believe in you and take you at your word every step of the way in jesus name Amen. I shall please receive the offering. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's the first day of the year and we want to invite you to worship the Lord with us. Amen. Yeah. This is a great day. It's an awesome day. It's a golden year.
you abide in me and my words abide in you ask what you will it shall be done unto you yes if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask what you shall be done unto you why don't you ask what you will it shall be done unto you and in that day ye shall ask me nothing I say unto you whatsoever you shall ask the Father Have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask, you shall receive that your joy may be full. Oh, yeah, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will, it shall be done. abide in me and my words abide in you ask what you will it shall be done unto you why don't you ask what you will it shall be done unto you this wonderful day wonderful morning what you have done for us already we thank you in Jesus name and everyone shouted amen you may be seated in the house of the Lord turn with me to Matthew chapter 22 I want to wish you a happy new year again a golden new year the year you've been waiting for for a long time has just begun it's the beginning of many good things in your life is the beginning of the end of Satan's dominion in your life. All the traps that have been set for you will not work this year in Jesus' name. You will escape from every snare 
and every pit that has been dug for you in Jesus' name. All right, Matthew. What is now? We want to look at what is the great instruction. What does God want us to do in 2012? How many want to know what God wants you to do? Oh God, what's the most important thing for me to do for 2012? And that question has already been answered by Jesus in Matthew chapter 22, verse 35. And one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master... Which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt... Which is what? The great commandment in the law. And Jesus answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. Amen. And so today, as we begin the new year, we want to decide to do what is a great... Look, how many would like Jesus to appear here? And you ask him, Jesus, what is the most important thing for me to do? He has already appeared. He has already been asked the same question by somebody else. And the question was, what is the greatest commandment? What is the most important thing should I should do? Amazingly, Jesus has answered these questions which are difficult. You know, sometimes you wonder, what, what, what should I do? What is important? And God is showing us today, we must love him. Amen. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And with all thy mind. Amen. This is the great, great, great commandment for the Lord. Now, um, you can love the Lord, your God, without loving him from the bottom of your heart. Because you can love him just with your mind. Amen. Amen. For instance, you can love somebody with your mind. You just calculate, you analyze. You say you love me. Okay, when I analyze, what school did you go to? I went to Adisa Del College. What, how, what is your uh, background or parents? Is there any mad person in your family? No. Okay. Number three, how much money do your family have? They are an average family. Okay. Number four, uh, what and what? So you analyze... And when you go through the analysis, you decide, with my mind, I can love you, I like you, and then we flow. So you are, you are loving the person with your, with your mind. But you see, God is not satisfied with just mind love. God is not happy with people who are just logical. Okay, I don't want to go to hell, I want to go to heaven. Okay, it's better those who don't believe in God... Those who believe in God live longer than those who don't believe in God. Those who believe in God and pray are healthier than those who don't believe in God. It's important to have a faith. So if you've analyzed God, one, two, three, four points, it's better to believe in God. And to, so I've, I've analyzed God. So okay, it's okay. I love, I love God. But God wants feelings as well. So that's why he said you should love the Lord your God with your soul as well. Amen. And you must have soul that is where when you look at music on the internet they classify the music and they said this music is classical music what are some of the classical music what what, what type of music do you have a classical it's classical music let's have this by Bach I think Tempest still is 
Jessica. Enough. So music, classical, rock. What kind of music is rock? Tell the world that, tell the world that, tell the world that he died for them. Tell the world that he lives again. Come on, come on. We'll tell the world about it. Yo, tell the world that, tell the world, come on, come on. We'll tell the world about it. Yo, tell the world yo, yo, that, yo, yo, oh, yo. Oh, oh. tell the world that. And what is pop? What about high life? Yeah, dinkoni, yeah, dika, yeah, besene dipio. Yeah, dinkoni, yeah, dika, yeah, besene dipio. Yeah, dinkoni. You see, each one gives a different feeling. Come on. Classical or your high life with your soul. So, what is soul music? You have some soul music, something that moves the soul, the feelings, the feelings. Everybody say feelings. Say God wants feelings. Wow, give me some soul music. Some soul music. Sing, I'll suck you. Sing. Drumming my pain with his fingers Jesus Filling my life with his words hey. Killing me softly, Killing me softly. From there, please remove those words. Remove those words from there. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> you see, God also is looking for feelings. It's like you'll be on your bed reading your Bible when you hear His word, when you see His words, you, you just say, Oh, you're killing me softly, Lord. You're killing me. Strumming my pain with His fingers. I feel. Uh, say, sing that part. It's drumming mm. my pain with his fingers. Mm. Feeling my life but with his words. When you are in your house and you read your Bible, when you start reading your Bible, no. you fall 
fall asleep. No strumming, no feelings. Is it right? You, you, God is watching us. Oh. We come to church, we start preaching, or you start falling asleep. <sighs> One day I went to church, I sat by God. This, when the sermon started, he adjusted, he hadn't started preaching, he just adjusted himself to the side like this. What is the man doing? Before I realized he was gone, he slept two out. Instead of allowing the word, is, when the word is coming, he said, Please, Bishop, I can't take it any longer. I, I, I'm, I'm just receiving it. It's too much for me. You are touching me. You are, you are, I feel feeling. And some of you come to church as if you have no feeling. When you were in the disco, you see feelings. <sighs> Ooh, feelings are feelings. I said, Feelings are what? Feelings. Feelings are what? Feelings. Doesn't change. So God is saying you shall love the Lord your God with your feelings as well. And that's why, that's why God loves young people more. Because young people have more feelings. When I preach in the first love church, there's more feelings than I get when I'm in the Kodesh. Because some of you older ones, even when you see me jumping in front of your preacher, I look like a very, very, I mean like maybe I'm 22 years old and I'm very excited about something I don't know about for sure. It's true. Because it's feeling, loving God with feeling is strange to you. But he said you shall love God with your mind, you think about it, and you analyze and decide. And then you also love him with feelings. God feels the love that we have for him. He can feel that we are not loving him with feelings. Yeah, we, 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 bo- we are so bored with God. God is so boring to us. But God is not boring. God is exciting. It's the most exciting thing to know God and to serve God. Amen. Amen. And then to love the Lord your God with your heart. Hey, with everything. That means there's nothing left. The main, the real bottom of everything is God. So this year, we are going to love the Lord. Amen. Now turn with me to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. And I want you to see some beautiful scriptures there. Beautiful scriptures. Amen. Verse 21. He that has my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him. You see, love is a beautiful thing, and love is a two-way road. If you love somebody, and the person loves you back, and then you love again. And so Jesus says, he that has my commandment and keeps them, because God already loves us. But if you keep his commandment, then he says he provokes even more love. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of by my father. And I will love him, I will come to him, and I will, I will manifest myself to him. I will be in his life. I will manifest myself to him. You will see signs that God loves you in your life. That's what it means. Read it carefully. He that has my commandments and keepeth them, he is the one that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved up by my father. Now look at this. It says, and I will love him. I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. How many want God to manifest himself in your life this year? So it's time for us not to love God just with a mind that is better to pray to God because people are doing juju so you too pray. You see, that's a mind. Since people are doing juju and you don't believe in witchcraft, better pray. So you've calculated. That's not what I mean. You are just loving God with a calculation. When you are loving God with your mind, it, there's calculation and there's logic in it. 
Do you get it? But when you start to love him with your soul, just feelings have come. When you love him with your heart, everything has come because it's the main part of you, the engine, the seat of everything is your heart. So he says that if you love me, the sign that you love me is that you keep and obey my commandment and change. Change. Change is the sign of love, not words, not rap. He didn't say, if you love me, rap me. Young ladies, you see, you, you are the ones who don't understand this scripture. M most of you ladies, you don't understand this verse. And I don't blame you. Young, especially the younger ones. Do you know why? Because raps work on you. Raps. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I love you, baby. Can I see you tonight, baby? I miss your love, baby. I need to see you, baby. I need to feel you. Wow. <sighs> and you believe it. Meanwhile, there are two of you on the line. But you don't know that there are two. Apart from you. There's one also in the house that they are telling the same things. You are, you are special. But there are so many people that are special. You are the only one. But you, are, you are the only one in this mosquito net. I have more mosquito nets. <laughs> you are the only mosquito in my net. That is this particular net of this particular bed. <laughs> At this particular time, you are the only mosquito in my net today because i have a different mosquito every day but ladies young ladies you easily believe the guy has a wife and he's telling you that when he met you he realized that you are the one that he really originally should have met earlier and you believe it you believe it he says he's leaving his wife for you and you are happy you are happy you believe he said can a good person leave his wife to come for you one day i was in my house when my i went out i came not my house now, but my father's house, my mother's house. When I came to with a lot of suitcases in front of the sitting room. So I said, Mommy, what are these suitcases? Oh, shh, somebody is here. Who? Somebody. When I saw it, it was one of her, her friends. I said, oh, the husband has thrown her suitcases out of the wall that she should go. So she packed all her things, came out her sewing machine, everything. They put it outside. And she came out. And she didn't have anywhere to go. She was a family friend. So she came to that. So I, I will never forget those suitcases. Who is it who had come to replace her? A certain young shrimp from Achibota School. This shrimp was also feeling happy that we have been caught in the net. That she's come, it's like she is the beautiful. And the way the man spoke to me, I love you, baby. Love is such a beautiful thing. And it's like, come, let's walk together. Let's, I mean, I want to be with you, you know. And I mean, oh, this witch that I married, you know, it's, 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 I need a relief. I mean, you are what I need. You are, you are the, you are. And she believed it. So she came. And she was there. One day, a few years later, she was there when her suitcases were also put outside. 
Her sewing machine was put outside and all her things were also put outside. You see, what I'm saying is that young ladies will find it difficult to believe this scripture. Why? Because this scripture puts love as an action, not raps. This scripture is telling us that love is actions, not what you say. He said, if you love me, he that wraps me and speaks to me nice words, he it is that loveth me. Wow. When I come to you and say, were you created or were you crafted? Wow. He said, why haven't I seen you all this time? Where have you been? When I was looking for love, which is such a beautiful thing. Nobody gets too much love anymore. Nobody gets it's the love I'm much gonna harder give. to come by. I'm waiting in line. Woo. Come on, dear. All right. Nobody shows I'm gonna too show you love. much love anymore. It's as high as, as you have the met mountain, me, you have met a jackpot. But harder to climb. Gonna let you know Raps. there's a heaven up above made of pearly cakes, precious treats of gold, no more painful tears to cry. I believe mm. we'll live in love forever. Come on, dear, we'll live in love forever. Always rain and never die. Cause love is such a beautiful His hand take my hand and put your mind at ease put your he mind at ease will take you there forget about the old one if you, you are the new one believe and you believe you believe too that nobody Ooh, gets raps. Too and if you get a man who can more, sing eh? wait if you get a man who can sing such a song when he starts to say, nobody gets too much love anymore and what to come. <laughs> be very careful are you are you mocking me are you mocking me <laughs> let this be your last time hey what a shock you get a man who can sing the thing to you you see that their minds are going this way, this way, this way, this way. You see, so because of that, you don't realize that when God says that love, if you love, you actually do certain things. You don't speak. That's why when you go to heaven, they don't ask for, do you have anything to say? He says, I know your works. They don't they read the Bible. I know your works. I know your, don't speak. Don't say, oh God, I really love you. You see, because I had some financial crisis. You know, there was difficulty. Lord, you see, it's not that. Oh. It's because this. And I want you to understand my father. No, 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 no. I know your works. Your works are explaining what you are doing. There is no talking, explaining, rapping, nothing. There's nothing. I just, I know your works. That's all. There's no talking in heaven. Go and read it for yourself. Nobody is asked to say anything. All the churches are saying, I know your works. I know your works. I know. The Bible says, your works follow you. So this year, instead of raps to God, oh Lord, forgive. Forgive. Oh, each other is true. Forgive. Mercy. This year, we are going to change. Change proper change. Did you hear me? I said change proper change. And we are going to turn away and do things that show. Don't say things anymore. Stop saying. Start doing things. That, that is the meaning of that. You love. I didn't write the Bible. If I had written the Bible, I would have written that. He that has sweet words and raps that are like jewels in apples of gold. He it is that loveth me. No, but the Bible says, he that keeps my commandment. He is the one that loves me. And I will also love him. And I will come to it. I will manifest. You will see that I'm real. You will see that there's a God in your life. Oh, Pastor, I've changed. I've changed from today. You just watch my life. Everything about me has changed. In fact, since I came to the church, everything has changed about me. 
And so many things have changed in. And I'm explaining to you that, you see, those messages we have been preaching, it has been working. And I'm, I'm feeling so much change in my spirit. I feel the change all the time, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. But you won't change too. Is that? Oh, Pastor, mercy, oh, mercy. I know I'm not a good wife, but God is in control. <laughs> you are a fool, do you understand? You are a fool. You are a fool. Oh, mercy, mercy, forgive. It is true. That's how we should cook. I haven't been cooking. <laughs> I don't know how to do it all. You are an idiot. Do you understand? You are an idiot. You cannot just be shouting forgive mercy without changes. Change is what indicates I love. You can't keep on saying, hey, forgive. Oh. Forgive. Oh. Forgive. They say we should read our Bible. Forgive is a long time. Oh. You are a you are a fool. This is what I can say. And I've not. Have I mentioned your name? 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 What's have you mentioned your name? It's not you. It's the next. It's another person, isn't it? Ask your neighbor. Did he mention your name? Then what is your problem? Now, repent means reverse. And Pastor Matt, I've repented. I've repented of all those things. All those things that you've been pressured about, I've changed, I've changed it. I'm telling you what I'm saying. I really believe all oh, the messages, other things you are saying, I like, I like them. They are real things. But you see, some of the practical applications, if I can, can I see you in the office about it? I mean, you have been speaking for some time, but you cannot change. <laughs> Is that, I've been praying about it. Pray about it. You pray about it, but you don't change. You have not, you have not. You, there is no love in you. There is no love in you. You see them come to the... Do you take her to be your wife? I take her to be my redhead wife. The, I do. <laughs> and you are smiling and taking pictures, so happy. But the action time, when the action time has come, there's no action. I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time. <laughs> now, now, let me show you somebody who, who didn't really love God and somebody who didn't really change. He said he changed, but he didn't change. No one else but Judas. Turn to Matthew 27. Matthew 27. Let me show you quickly. Chapter, verse 1. Look at it on the screen. When the morning came, all the chief priests and elders took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. Verse 2. And when they had bound him, they led him to Pontius Pilate. Verse 3. And Judas, who betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented. You see, this is false repentance, false love. His, the Bible says he actually repented. What did he do? He said he brought again the 30 pieces of silver back to the chief priest. Look at that. It looks like he's repenting, but all these are not really repentance. That's what I'm saying, that there's a lot of talking amongst us. Hey, hey, Pastor, really, the things you are saying, they are really true. Your messages are powerful. I really like, can I write a letter to you? Please, what's your email address? I want to write something to you. Express the feelings. Don't express feelings. Just change, change. Don't write letters. Change. He said, I have sinned. I have betrayed innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See to it. Look at the next verse. And he went and cast the pieces of silver in the temple and he departed and he came to Jesus and he said, Lord, I have sinned against heaven and I have sinned against thee. Forgive me. No. He went and hanged himself. I don't see anybody anymore. That's not repentance. Feeling sorry. You see, there is a law. Do it, but don't get caught. Everybody who is caught is sorry. So when somebody is showing, I'm sorry, it doesn't mean the person has repented. He, look, go back to the verse. He said that he repented. He said, ah, I think I've betrayed innocent blood. In other words, I've been caught that I've made a mistake. And he knew the whole world would always catch him. From that day, Judas, everybody will know that he was a bad person. He has been caught. Everybody who is caught is sorry. And if you catch a thief, you see, they, every thief has a law. Do it, but don't be caught. If you are caught, you say, oh, I'm so sorry. But if they were not caught, they would never say they are sorry. 
So saying sorry and looking sorry and saying I'm sorry does not mean you are sorry. Yeah, I'm talking about Iscariot. I'm not talking about a lesser person. Jesus said it would have been better that he wasn't born. He's one person for sure. We know he's down there in hell. You keep on all your life saying I'm sorry. Oh, this and that. But there's no real, there's no literal change. To repent is to reverse. It's not to just feel sorry. It's not to just even confess to the wrong person or even confess the wrong thing. Because you just confess, I mean, uh, 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 what did he say? The next one. What is it? Betrayed. Verse 4. I betrayed innocent blood. It's not just betraying of innocent blood. It's not just innocent blood. You've, you've turned against your master. You've turned against the one who loved you. You've turned against God. You've turned against the ministry. It's not just betraying innocent blood. It's not just innocent blood. That's not what it is. It's much more than that. So partly saying what you've done wrong, partly accepting it, feeling sorry just because you've been caught, feeling sorry and happy about, I don't feel happy. You think prisoners who are in prison are feeling happy. Nobody is happy. But it's because they've been caught, but they are not repented. That's why the Bible says you have sorrowed after a godly sort. It works repentance. It works real change. Do you want to know what is real change that will show that you love God? Turn to Luke chapter 15. There was a certain man, verse 11. He had two sons. The younger said, give me the portion. Go on, go on, go on, all the way down. And he went and took his journey to a far country. And he spent all he had. And when he began to be enjoying, join himself to a citizen of the country, and he would fain have filled his belly with hazard the swine he did. And when he came to himself, he said, how many have hired seven? When he came what? When he came what? When he came, when he started, this was repentance. So this is real change. This is real repair. He started to think in a new way. I'm talking about loving God in 2012. He started to think in a new way. And when he came to himself, another version says, when he came to his senses, he said to himself, he said to himself, verse 19, he said to himself, Amen. I am no more worthy. Go back, verse 17. When he came to himself, he said, and of course, he must have been saying it to himself, How many servants have bread? I'm perishing. Then go down, verse 18. Oh, he said, I will arise. He was thinking. He was planning. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this. Verse 19. And I'll, I'll say, these are the things I will say. I'm not worthy to be called your son. Make this your high servant. And but what does the Bible say? And he arose. He actually did what he was saying. He actually did it. He arose. You see, it's not just saying things. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, you know. Hmm. I'm so, oh, anyway. Sorry, mercy, mercy, forgive, forgive. Hey, make I should be full time. Forgive. I should have to serve the Lord. Hey, what I should pay my title. I should bring money. Hey, I should do what I have to do. Forgive. But what did he do? He arose and he came to his father. When he was yet a great reverend, father is gracious. His father saw him, had compassion, ran, fell on his neck, kissed him. And the son said to him, He started, even though his father had run. His father ran to him and said, my son, my son, my son, my son. He, he, he didn't stop his plan. His father's graciousness did not stop him executing the things he said he would execute. He went ahead and he said, the son said, father. When he, when, because his father's, his father's graciousness could have ended his own. Daddy, <laughs> thanks for welcoming me so graciously. I'm so blessed by your love. Thanks a lot. It's my room there. It's my room there. The place has changed a bit. I think you did some renovations. And that day I was doing an agricultural course in uh, this place. So we were into farming with uh, pig farming and others, you know. I was into agric. You know, when I started my um, uh, this in master's in piggery and in my husbandry, and uh, things didn't go too well. And I ran out of the money for the rent. And I had to have, but I didn't complete the masters. Anyway, daddy, it's nice to be back. <laughs> I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> I want to eat some of the home food. I've been eating, I mean, fast food. A lot of fast food these days. <laughs> Foolish boy, fast food. Is that what you are calling eating the food of pigs? You say you've been eating fast food. No. 
Wow. You see, this is not repentance. When he got to his father, he said, Father, Father, the plan, I have sinned against heaven in thy sight. He did it. He did it. And I'm not worthy to be called. Make me, appoint me now as one of your servants. I'm applying for appointment as a servant. I'm junior, I'm down, I'm down. Wow. He didn't say, forgive. Oh, daddy, forgive. It's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you are glad I'm back. <laughs> this is what we are all doing. That's why there's no change in your life. That's why God cannot come to you and manifest. Every day you say, hey, I should read my Bible. Oh. Hey. Then you take it and you start reading. Are you a gas tank? Huh? All of you spend your time doing your hair, but no time on your spirit. Yeah, all the time ironing your clothes, no prayers. Hey, Charlie, the way the bishop was praying in tongues today, I should start to pray in tongues. No change in you. I should start to pay my tithe. You know, hey, forgive. Every day when they go, I forget to forgive. Hey, Lord, forgive. Do you think the manifestation, no matter which prophet prays for you and how many crossovers and passovers you attend, it cannot change anything in your life. You can attend crossover, passover, jump over, leap over, take over, move over, step over, run over, roll over, push over, take over, pull over, escape over, <laughs> dance over, fly over. <laughs> We have a lot of flyovers in Ghana now. Flyovers. <laughs> I think next year we should call our all-night flyover. <laughs> there is nothing that can substitute for this real change. Yeah. There's nothing. All your talk doesn't make amount to anything. It's just what you do. That's why Jesus said, I know your works. Shh. I know your works. Shh. That's why in court, judges are trained. You can't just be a judge. You'll be trained not to listen to people. Don't look at their faces. Don't feel sorry. Don't cry. Don't be moved. The, 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 the accused people, they are taught, wear suits, shave. Don't come in looking like a, a, a bad person. Wear a suit. Look decent. Look respectable. Stand there with your suit in your black suit and your tie. Dress like the American president and say, I'm not guilty. And cry a little. Show a little emotion. Say, oh. <laughs> Why did you kill your mother and your father? <laughs> I could never kill my mother. <laughs> Look at you. Hey, you are a killer too. Do you understand? You are a killer. Look at what you are acting. So a judge is trained. Don't look at their faces. Don't listen to what they are saying. Just look at what they did. Look at the evidence. Ask for the glove. Ask for this. Ask for the blood. Ask for DNA. Don't listen to the people. And God is telling you this year, he's not going to listen to you. He's watching what you do practically. It's no more what are you saying to God? What are you talking about? There's nothing like that. Doing is the reality that you are really repenting. And repentance is a foundation upon which we build. You can't, you can't keep on going to the internet to look at bad things and say, I've changed. You can't continue going to watch pornography. You can't, can't go say, forgive. This thing, I shouldn't watch it. Oh. Where's the remote? Ah, I can't change even the remote. And we're watching and watching. Hey, I'm tired. Oh. You can't. You can't continue being a bad husband or a bad wife. Forgive. Forgive. And Reverend Eddie Fabian taught her, forgive. Forgive. Now, it's time to change. This year, you are going to turn around. Turn around. There's a song like that. Turn around. Round. The Lord is calling you. Is that the song? He's calling you from your life of wasted years. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. The Lord this is year. calling you. No more talking. No more raps. Just turn. Just turn. Just turn. Don't be stubborn. Just turn. Stop.
stop talking. So turn God is not me. Turn God will not be moved by your face. You. God will not be moved by what you say. You say, I know your ways. You can't Stand to your feet. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. The Lord is calling you. He's calling you from your life of wasted years. So turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Jesus. The Lord turn is around. calling you. Turn around. No more talking. No more rap. Just do it. He's calling you from your life of wasted years. Sing it for the last time. Turn around. God is speaking to you this morning. No more raps, no more talking, just acting. Lift your hand and commit yourself to God as we come to the beginning of this year. We start in church on Sunday morning and we say, Lord, Lord, I'm turning around. I'm turning around. I'm turning around. I'm turning around. No more excuses, no more explaining, no more talking. I'm turning around. Because you are calling me. You are telling me repent. I want to turn around. I want to turn around. Yes. 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 The Lord is calling you. He's calling. He's calling you from your life. A place that Father, I stretch out my hand and I pray for your mercy for all of us, Lord. For we are all guilty, Lord. We say things, Lord. We cry but we are sorry but we are not really sorry like Judas we are sorry that we are caught we are sorry that there's a problem that we are not really sorry for what we have really sinned against we pray today for your mercy your grace everybody lay your hand on your heart Father touch our hearts that we will love you with our heart we love you genuinely from the bottom of our heart we pray soften our heart we lay hands on our heart soften our heart soften our heart the Lord, the hardness will be gone. The talking, the deception will be gone. But just reality of reversing, turning around, turning around. Turn around. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Turn Thank you, Lord. Around. The yes. Lord is calling you. Yes, Lord. He is calling you from your life of wasted years. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for this great blessing upon your church today. As every head is bowed and every eye closed. Pastor, I want to give my life to God. Maybe somebody invited you to church. You are tired of talking and giving excuses, but God is saying, come today now. Give your life to me. Give your heart to me. I want you to serve me. Follow me. You are here today. You, you know, if you die today, if you die tomorrow, you do not know whether you go to heaven or hell. Pastor, pray with me. Pray for me. I want to give my life to God, to Jesus. If you are here like that, lift your hand and I'm going to pray a special prayer. God bless you. Lift it up high. Pastor, help me today. I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you've lifted your hand, Pastor, help me. I need Jesus. I want to give my life to God. If you are here like that and you've lifted your hand, come to me. Come to me here. I'm coming down to me to come. Come. Turn around. Turn around. Don't think. Don't explain. Just come. Come to God. Come to the cross. He is calling you. Come to Jesus. Your life of wasted years. Come on and turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. No more raps. No more explanations. No more talking. It's time to believe. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I want you to say this prayer. Everybody lift your hand and say this prayer with these wonderful brethren who have come. Say, Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins, my mistakes. Have mercy on me. From today, I will serve you. I will follow you. Oh, Jesus. Say, Jesus, I know I am a sinner. Today, I give my heart to you. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Change me. Wash away my sins. Today, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord 
and Savior. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me today. Say, I love you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a mighty clap of praise. Now, before you go back, you see this pastor here. If you go with him, he's going to give you something and then you come back and join us. God bless you. Give them a mighty clap offering. They came to give their life to the Lord Jesus today. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Amen. How many are going to love the Lord? I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. Come on. I'm in love. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. I'm falling in love with my Lord. Okay. No more talking, singing, giving, giving. Bring your tithes and offerings. I'm in love with the Lord. Bishop Saki, do you agree with me? Rapping, talking, talking. Do you have anything to say? Bishop, 100% I agree with you. Okay. All right, they should bring their tights. That's it. <laughs> Just stop talking, rapping. I love you. This, this, this. Just bring your tights. Pay your tights. Stop talking. Amen. Lift it up and let's pray. Your special, your thanksgiving offerings, your tights, whatever God has blessed you with, lift it and let's pray. Father, we are thanking you as we present this to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Please bring it all the way to the front very quickly. Come and put it. These baskets in front here, the tall ones. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. I'm falling in love with my love. Surely, surely. Well in the house of the Lord forever Surely goodness and mercy Shall fall on me all the days of my life Come on. I will dwell in the house of the Lord How are you going to dwell in the house forever. of the Lord? with Jesus this year how many agree that your love has been really funny how many have funny love funny love talking love rapping love speaking love explaining love excuses love talking plenty with looking pitiful but no change ask your neighbor are you Judas are you Judas my God I never knew you were Judas wow what a shock now, take out your offering. Take out your offering. Look, everybody must give an extraordinary offering, an outstanding offering, a deep offering that is reflective of your love, your love for Jesus. Have you got an offering? Look, I want you to give 20 CDs, 50 CDs, 100 CDs, 
give something good to the Lord. Tell your neighbor, is it because they are not shouting 10 CDs, 4 CDs, that you have taken out one CD? Ask your neighbor, is it because they are not standing there shouting? That is why you have taken out one. Ask your neighbor, can I see that hand of yours now? Can I see that hand now? I want to inspect it. Eesh. Lift up your offering. Let's pray. Father, thank you as we give this offering today in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, take out your boosters. Don't be tired of giving. Are we tired of preaching? We are preaching to you all the time. Singing, singing solos, all kinds of things. We are not tired. Why should you be tired of giving boosters? Lift up your booster. Uh, everybody give a booster. If you are, you are too big to give a booster, take out another offering, add it to the original one, and that's it. Lift it up, two hands, right hand offering, left hand booster. Father, thank you as we give this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pasture. Beats me beside still waters, he restores. Sing it again. The Lord is my He's shepherd. My shepherd. I shall not want He makes me lie down In green pastures Leads me beside still waters He restores my soul He leads me in the path For righteousness For His name's sake And even though I walk valley of the shadow of the death I will fear no evil for thou art with me I'm in love, I'm can in you love. sing it? I'm in love I'm in love, yeah with my Jesus I'm in love I'm falling in love with my Lord I'm in love, I'm in love I'm in love, I'm in love. somebody I'm in love with my Jesus no more raps no more talking no more explanations excuses speeches 
I'm in love and I'm acting the love. Amen. Don't forget on Tuesday, there is no church here. Don't come here. When you come here, you spoil the pavement, the tiles, and so on. Just stay in your house. Amen. Everybody has to rest sometimes. The church is resting. Thursday too. Don't come here at all. The next time we are having church is when? Sunday. So make sure you are here. This year, when you are coming, every Sunday, bring somebody. Never come to church. Don't think people are Christians. Don't think people have church. They don't have churches. And Lighthouse Kodesh is not a Kaneshi Christian center. It's an international church for the whole city. We are going to have buses from Ajiri Gano, bus from Spinters Road, bus from all will be coming here. All roads are leading to the Kodesh. Hallelujah. So I don't want you to have a KCC mentality. It's not a KCC, Kaneshi Christian center. It's a lighthouse, amen, that is shining far and wide. Give the Lord a shout of loving hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet and let's close. <laughs> huh? Out of four, let's close. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. I'm in love with my Lord. Sing it, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love, yeah. With my Jesus. I'm in love. I've fallen in love with my Lord. Hold somebody's hand and say, Brother, today. I realize that all my love is false love. It's not a real love. From today, I'm not speaking again. No more, no more speeches, excuses. I'm just going to act love. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion, fellowship, contribution, and participation of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Happy New Year, a golden New Year. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah! It's a year of hallelujahs. God bless you. I'm in love.